And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video on later for some more Demir Tezzerator. We're going to go ahead and play this deck one last time here before we get Corset 2020 in standard, which honestly looks like it could add a good amount to the deck. Uh, there looks to be some really cool artifacts in the set, uh, honestly, and so maybe we'll have more, be able to have more of an artifact theme here after M20. Uh, we'll have to see, and we'll have to see what the fall set is. We don't know if, like, maybe there are, there's going to be more artifacts in the fall set as well that can help out cards like um, Sahili and, and this Tezzeret Master of Bridge and everything. But um, anyway, this deck, though, while it's not necessarily the best deck, it's pretty fun to play, and the main reason why we get to play it, why we really want to play it, is because of this card, Tezzeret Master of the Bridge. And its animation here on Arena is really cool. That plus two is what we're going for. The minus three and the minus eight don't really matter, to be honest. I don't think I've ever activated either one. It's all about that plus two, dealing X damage to each opponent, where X is the number of artifacts you control, and you gain X life. So you hopefully have a good amount of artifacts. Like, let's say you have four artifacts in play. You get to plus two and deal four damage to them and gain four life. And... Um, you know, that adds up over a couple of turns. A bunch of life gain, a bunch of damage. Um, and it's just a really cool claw animation. So that's that's what we're doing there. So how does the passive ability work here, where it says creatures and planeswalker spells you, you have, you cast have affinity for artifacts? What that means is however many artifacts you have in play, it reduces the colorless cost of your uh, creatures and planeswalkers by that much. So if we have four if we have four artifacts in play, this card is absolutely free to cast because it costs four colorless. So as, if we play this and then we have four artifacts, we can just play the Karn also, for example. The Tezzeret would still cost blue blue, but it, you could re reduce the the three from the Tezzeret. So like that's so that's how that works. There. Yeah, so we have like Sahili, Sai and Tezzeret that are like our main ways to make a bunch of artifacts. Uh, the one thing that's new with this deck that I, I want to try that we didn't have last time is I'm trying a Phyrexian Scriptures in the main and in the side as like a, a sweeper to destroy um, a bunch of creatures. As you see there, you can put a 1-1 counter up to one target creature and that creature becomes an artifact. So we can make our Psy an artifact, for example. And then it's destroy all non-artifact creatures. So if we're making uh, creature tokens with like Sahili and Karn and stuff, it's going to destroy all the non-artifact creature tokens, and then you exile your opponent's graveyard after that. So it's it's a four mana sweeper, destroy all non-artifact creatures, but it does uh, take an extra turn. You know, it has like suspend one basically, um, and uh, so that's why I haven't really tried it before. But I'm going to go ahead and give it a go. Let's let's give it a try. All right, without further ado, let's tesserate some people. So head on over to a traditional construct queue here with our Tezzerator deck. Yeah, if it did have Suspend 1, it would safely sit in exile and it would be better. Um, sitting out on the battlefield with all these cards that get rid of enchantments, it's a little tougher. You know, you have your Vivian Reeds and your Teferis and all sorts of things that just get rid of enchantments conveniently. Yeah, no, Core 2020 is, yeah, six days. It's next Tuesday. It'll be live. Mono red. Well, we do have the Fountain of Renewal in our hand, and hopefully we can gain a good amount of life with this card over time. Perfect time to have it on turn one. Yeah, Tezzeret's just really lacking good artifacts, honestly. That's that's what Tezzeret's really lacking right now. So do I want to scorn the Lava Runner or Thought Erasure them? I 
the biggest thing I'd be scared of right now from their hand next turn is like a Thought Erasure. Or sorry, is a, <laughs> if, if I don't Thought Erasure, is like a Chain Whirler. I think I do this. Hmm. Maybe not. Yeah, I'm going to do this. Because that card's just not going to have any value later on. Okay, so they had a Chain Whirler. Oh, it's a shock land. I, I'm gonna keep it though. I just kind of need lands. I guess I should, probably should have just killed the Steamkin and waited on, and then not shocked in. Hmm. Last turn. All right, so if I go Treasure Map plus Scorn, then the Sahili is not going to be making any one ones. Yeah, maybe I should have just done this last turn. Oh yeah, Psy wasn't bad. Psy traded with two cards, you know, traded with a Firebrand and a Lightning Strike and, and gained us some life. Psy did its job. What an interesting creature. Let's see how you work. All right, this Tesseract could do some work for us. My hair is on fire? <laughs> I know. Draw a land. Draw a land. Draw a land. So it deals the damage to the opponent. Not give up. Hmm. Not a land. Let's go and scry, see what we get. Alright, there's a land. We'll t keep that. Draw that. I don't think we need to swing at, Sh at Chandra. Swing at Chandra just makes it more likely they kill my Sahili and everything. I don't, I don't think we need to. Ugh. Cool. Got the firebrand out of there. Need to iterate. Ugh, yuck. So, two turns for Chandra's ultimate. Deal five, gain five. Oh, I need an upkeep stop. Sit back and watch it burn. Time to adapt. Oh, come on. They just drew six now points of burn that turn. Hmm. Uh, Alright, so what do I have for Planeswalker removal? Two Contempt. This means nothing. I 
That's convenient. This was a waste of my time. All right, and we're we've kind of stabilized. We're at 19. Let's find another Tezzeret. <laughs> Wizards Lightning, the one one. I wouldn't mind them drawing a couple more lands, of course. Mm. Yeah, we're going to keep this. And just a good card. Our two found renewals have the Pyromancer in check. Hey, a Karn. Karn's pretty good. Let us begin. Make an 8-8. Eight 8-8s eight. Eight eight are big. Yeah, we have three End of the God Eternals in the sideboard. Please stop. All right, we'll go down to seven, seven. Draw a card. Ooh, another card. We're up to 21 against the red deck in the late game. Alright, so we'll have these be 9-9s. Nine We're going to turn a Guild Globe into a 9-9. Nine nine. Also, attack for 18. Sahili, Karn, Sion of Urza. Those two work very well together. And there we go. It was all about drawing that Contempt for the Chandra. Alright, so we'll get Moment of Craving, Moment of Craving... Enter the God Eternal, enter the God Eternal, enter the God Eternal. Get all those in here. Um, I could have Spyglass for Chandra. But it's kind of just for Chandra. We're not really... Yeah, it's just basically just for Chandra. Is scriptures too slow? Maybe not. I don't know. All of our cards are kind of good. Like seeing seeing this here, I don't really see anything that we really need to take out. I mean, I guess maybe this Tesseret. It just makes one ones, but it then can also draw a bunch of cards. Yeah, Steamkin's ability is a mana ability. Mana abilities are abilities that add mana, and that's what Steamkin's ability does, is, is it adds mana. Yeah, that's true. Soot is just better than Scriptures. That's a good point. Yeah, and Soot's, Soot's honestly good here. Let's get the Soot's in. I guess I'm cutting a Guild Globe. And we'll cut one big Tezzeret. Just costs a lot of mana. And maybe it's just Thought Erasure? Maybe I'll just take out Thought Erasures. Why well, one Mo Mox Amber? It works really well with Sahili in particular. Like, Mox Amber, Sahili is a good combination where you 
like turn three you can play Sahili and then you can play Mox Amber and you get also same thing with Sai. Like Sahili and Sai works very well with both of them. But you then you get a one one and uh, to help protect like Sahili and and then you get to start adding more mana also. So I'm going to Tyrant's Core in this turn, so I can play Psy next turn, and then drop Treasure Map, Guild Globe, and make two 1-1s. One one Alright, we got enough lands deck. We're gonna need some planeswalkers. We're gonna need some Enter the God Eternal, Karn, Tezzeret. We're gonna need that kind of stuff. Ugh, boo. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yep, last game Tezzeret gained us five, and then also Yeah, did take exactly yeah, it took nine damage also. So yeah, it did did a lot for us. Um All right, so Healy's just going to be gain five, unless they attack me, but. Hmm, just attacking me. Guess they weren't too worried about Sahili. So I can make, I can make two tokens by playing Gil Globe and Treasure Map, or I make two tokens by just playing Tezzeret, because Tezzeret makes its own token. So yeah, let's definitely get the Tezzeret in play. Shall we begin? We can make an extra token. Hmm. And you see why our opponent had no respect for Sahili. They were just holding a Chain Whirler. Chain Whirler, of course, is a problem for me. Yeah, the, the war boss is like an annoying to like the attack all and everything. I'll just concede here. Hmm. All right, maybe we need thought erasers. We take out this Tez. I guess I could take out the Mox Amber. It's really only good with with these cards, but it is very good with those. don't have very many artifacts now. I want to keep one of these Tezzes in. All right, game number three. All right. Treasure map, get us some lands. No, I think the the creatures have a 
the yeah every, every creature has a creature type so the tokens that we're making with like Sahili and stuff have creature types I believe they're constructs that Sahili makes No, it's servos. So yeah, so it says colorless servo artifact creature tokens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm just going to take the draw step here and hope... Hope we draw a land. We do not... I'll just scorn the Steamkin. Down to eight. Yeah, so Healy's good. Mm. I mean, I, I'm thinking they probably just have Chain Whirlers, right? So it's like... So I use all of my treasures to cast this right now. Meh. Those treasures are valuable. Tazeret. Tazeret. Yay, Tazeret. Not the exact Tazeret I wanted this turn. But we'll take it. It's a Tazeret. Alright, so we milled over three lands in a Frenzy. That's a good mill over. And yeah, they kept us from gaining four life by using the Wizard's Lightning there. This will be devilish. My friend is here to help your pain. Hmm. Okay, what are we doing here? Do you really think you can keep up with me? So with our opponent likely playing like one of these things next turn, I'll just make the one one that can that can block here. I was definitely considering just drawing two. 
with the Tezzeret. But I think this is a good time to make a 1 1. Okay. They're not going to play Pyromancer or Chandra. You think you've won. Cold logic will always win. Chain Whirler and Frenzy. Let's take Frenzy. Really hope we don't have to contempt our own Tezzeret here. Really hope they don't draw some kind of burn spell. I'll keep Sahili. Sahili can make more 1-1s one -ones for us. Which would be good if we find another Tezzeret. Find the 6-mana Tezzeret. 6-mana Tezzeret? Not yet, not yet. If it's a challenge you want, then a challenge you'll get. I guess I should be drawing here first. Good one. All right, where is this six mana Tezzeret? We need the master of the bridge. Alright, so we got rid of Shock, Shock, Steamkin, Firebrand. And we're doing it. McCarty, we're going to be doing our M20 set review on Friday. Victory! Demir Tezzerator. We saw like how just important that that 5-mana Tezzeret there really won us that game. As we saw that that game, it just draw drawing an extra two cards a turn. You know, like we were just drawing three cards a turn, which is why I didn't want to just take out all the the planeswalkers. Felt like they were pretty important. And yeah, guys are drawing us. Yeah, because yeah, the red yep the red deck does go long. So yeah, just cutting your late game. Yeah, that's not not going to be too beneficial so yeah that artifice master just drawing us three cards a turn there well we don't know what what uh matchup we're playing against whether this founder renewal will be any good or not i'm gonna ditch it because we're on the play we're not gonna be able to play it right away watery grave i'm glad we got rid of that card in general now. Hmm. The world yields to art, not oppression. Alright, really hope we draw a land here so we get to double spell this next turn and make a couple of servos. Wow, no respect for Sahili. Wow, no respect for Sahili. Nobody respects Sahili. Dang. Two Tamios? Huh. 
Am I supposed to be two Tamios? I can never even beat the first Tamio. How are we supposed to beat a second? Oh, low, low Q, sorry, we, I, I always do, except for today we just changed the order, so that's why they're not. But I, I always have the, the stream title in the order that we're playing the decks, but except for, like, today's, like, the one day that we changed the order. Yeah, I mean, we're just, we're just dead. Demir Gilgate, like, comes in to play tapped. It's a ripoff. Uh, I gotta keep it just in case. We're just really dead here. Innovation knows no bounds. I will return. Hmm. Well, glad we killed. Sorry, glad we kept the guild gate. You would make an excellent. Let me aid your research. Thanks, White Korean. Uh, yeah, that was fun to do. That was fun to do with, uh, you know, making the deck. Um, based around the Garrett cards. Until you have lived, some solutions must be built. So they want Krasis. They just want Krasis for four. Does mean that I get to make them chump with Wild Growth Walker. So that's not bad. Can we draw land? Ugh. I guess I should just be digging for land right now. Need to get this Tezzeret Master a bridge out here. My creations are things of beauty. Wait. Do the Gill Globe. Turn that into one of these. I like to think fast. All right, Tamio down. My research has been compromised. Phyrexian scriptures would be awesome in this matchup if we would draw it. You are 
only hurting yourself. Good choice. Not looking good. We need a sweeper. We need a sweeper. Awesome, Leo. You playing the, the Rakdos burn deck? Carrying you through diamond? Glad to hear it. Would the one mana gain three artifact be consideration for the deck? I I like Founder Renewal more than that card. They can gain gain some life over time because we're playing a slow because we're playing a slow deck, so you just get to gain more life over time, and then you can also sacrifice it and draw a card, like I'm doing right now. It's the easiest no block in history. He sent way too much at Karn there. Until, yeah, it's until end of turn, not until my next turn. So I can't just make one of these things a blocker. I didn't think I could. You're just not attacking with Wildgrowth Walkers? Hmm. Oh, yeah, I could have cast Tez and got a free Karn. I, for I forgot about that part. Yeah, I could have just cast cast Tezzeret, got a free Karn, and then I wouldn't have had the Tyrant Scorn up, but could have had Tezzeret in play there here, too. Okay, just getting the two cards. I, am oh, I guess that was all. That was all there was to get. I'll make use of that laser. I mean, Tamio gets back command the Dread Horde though, so they should be doing. Yep. Should be discarded. Ah, this. 
Yes, we'll keep an eye on you. <laughs> there is great power in the people. Hmm. This is just a really tough game for us to win here. Very, very tough. Yeah, I was one. I was one short there with the, playing the Tezzeret and this Tezzeret, and I, I, so I want this Tezzeret in play to make another blocker, where the other Tezzeret doesn't make. Yeah, you know, I want the, I want the Artifice Master to make to make a blocker. Hmm. I know. I noted this somewhere. Oh yes, yeah. Scriptures is definitely our savior, but. I mean, I don't even know if Scriptures really does it, because, like, we Scriptures, like, one turn it destroys their creatures, but then they have a, a, a turn to command the Dreadhorde still. Because then it's the turn after that, then it exiles the graveyard. So I think I'm going to draw a land here. And so I get the guild globe out there. Also, get another blocker and everything. Tell me you're not impressed. Bzzz. My artifacts. All right, well, we're doing 10 at a time. Hitting the Tamiyo course to not let the, the Tamiyo just minus and grab Contempt. The time has come. We, we did not have the mana to play this and scry and play Tezzeret. I don't know how you thought I could scry first before playing Tezzeret. So what do we have over here? We have a Psy. And a Thought Erasure. Wish we could take the cards out of their hand with a Thought Erasure, but obviously we can't with the Tamiyo in play. Scriptures. Okay. We're doing it. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm I'm one mana short from going and grabbing Psy with Karn. And playing Psy and Treasure Map and Scriptures. I could do Psy plus Scriptures, but there's not really a point for grabbing Psy at that point. So let's just tick up.
how to stop you. <laughs> this is just the beginning. All right, kill Tamio. I guess like, I could have just done this and then thought erasure away a crisis, I suppose, but <clears throat> thought erasure could be really good for next turn because you know, like they play a big crisis here, we could get to see their hand. You may regret that choice. Oh, Sai has an affinity, man. I just never. Yeah, so I guess I could have grabbed Sai. Yeah, we're definitely going to grab Thought Erasure the next turn. I would love my opponent to not attack. Please just don't attack. Lame. Alright, let's scry. See what we got going on over here. Land. Alright, let's get an upkeep scry in. Okay. Do I just let Tezzeret die? Honestly? And just keep my whole battlefield. To keep it alive, we would have to block like one, two, three, four, five, six. So that'd be five things dying. This is. That's. Five damage coming at it. Yeah, we'd have to block all these to keep it alive. That's probably worth it. So then we're, I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to have five creatures die. So these will turn into eight eights. So they'll stay alive. Yeah, I think I think Tezzeret's worth five Thopters. Or five servos. Oh man, it's getting laggy. So grindy. No, see if, if I would have blocked the biggest walker, my my construct token would have died. Nothing is ever truly lost. Two Krasis, a Tamio, a Golgari Queen. I guess I just get rid of Tamio. Tamio's just messed up. Mox Amber, you're not doing anything. Um You should just Because otherwise they could they could have just Tamio grabbed Dreadhorde Dreadhorde again. I was debating on whether or not to contempt the Karn, but I'm gonna I'll save the contempt. Erasure again with Tezzeret. Tezzeret return, returning an artifact card. Leave before I make you disappear. Alive or alive. It's a strange and magnificent world.
We got there. Opponent scoops them up. So yeah, our, our scriptures was going to exile their graveyard so they couldn't Dreadhorde anymore. Like, it got rid of, like, all the Jade Lights and Wild Growth Walkers and everything. And yeah, we're going to be able to have a really big Tezzer at the next turn. Because I was going to I was gonna flip Treasure Map, which is going to make three more artifacts and everything. We're, so we're going to have really big Tezzer at Tick Ups. Wow. What a game. All right, let's get this other scriptures in here. Let's get these spy glasses for dem tamios. <laughs> yeah, maybe our deck's great. Maybe it is. Maybe it's just great. The scriptures was was crucial. Like we didn't have scriptures last time, and that that's that scriptures was so clutch. Oh, what am I even taking out? I don't I don't really need Fountain of Renewal, I don't think. I mean I do want Elder Spells. Elder Spell sounds kinda sweet. I mean they're gonna be Elder Spelling me. I guess I just let that happen. Oh yeah, I guess we kind of want Soot. Command the Dreadhorde's so messed up. I don't know, I'm just going to cut these cheap artifacts. Which is probably a bad idea. Yeah, we kind of need everything. <laughs> yeah, we need... Like, it would be nice to have those duresses and the Elder Spells. We kind of need everything. Hey, Sothian, what's up? You just missed a really, really sweet game if you're just joining now. Man, the last game we played was awesome. Yeah, we could have an Ego in the sideboard for Command the Dread Horde. <laughs> Just cut lands. What could go wrong? Bring in all 15 from the sideboard. Cut 15 lands. Boom. Sideboard. Sideboard done. Timio. Why are my opponents calling me basic? I'll show you who's basic. You're basic. Sand's not looking so good for us. Okay, okay. Come on, lands. Land, land, land. I want my opponent to draw all lands, and I want to draw all lands. If that happens, we'd be doing great. Nope, they found a crisis. Dang. Together, we'll create great things, you and I. Dr. Dens with the tier 2 sub. 
Thank you so much, Dr. Dance. I didn't see I didn't even see that notification pop up. Did y'all see the notification pop up? I didn't hear it at least. Man, gifting out the subs today and then with the tier two sub. Thank you so much, Dr. Dance. I really do appreciate that. Hey gamer. It's going very good. Did I miss a scry last turn? No. No. You may think that this is treasure map. This is guild globe. Treasure map's in my hand. I'm sorry, but I must tend to my creations. So I, I need to draw a ritual of soot. My opponent could have put me down to one and, and have lethal like the next turn. Ugh, did not draw a ritual of soot. Game. Alright, I'm gonna cut the the psi for another Tyrant Scorn with the psi with you know, I don't actually have very many artifacts to cast right now. Hmm. Don't love all top end planeswalkers again like we had last time, but we got treasure map, so that's good. Not a good draw. Again. Same thing that happened last game. For us, you know, kind of sitting on three lands and then just drawing our six drops. Hey Vincent, going really good. Awesome. So I didn't scry there because I wanted to see if we drew Phyrexian Scriptures or Ritual of Set to play. So we'll see what happens here. Not, you know, real confident in our ability to pull this one out, but we're going to see. Uh, yuck, Tammy, that was impossible to beat. Tammy, that was impossible to beat. I do not feel pain.
my employer sends his regards. Awaken. Right, that's true. We do have the contempt we can grab with Karn. Good point, good point. Gross. All right, good thing we, we got another chump blocker out here. Karn has one loyalty, so Karn's gonna die, so no reason to chump block. Farewell, and thank you for the lesson. Ooh. Can I wait a turn? Cause I can pl I can play Tazeret plus Karn right now. Yeah, I like I like this idea. I like drawing I like drawing two cards here. And seeing. And then yeah, I think I could just go ritual. Oh yeah, I could have pinged for one point of damage with the attack. That's just... Please don't have Elder Spell. <laughs> it's okay, Amnesiac, you're good. Yeah, that, that claw is such a sweet animation. That's the whole reason why we're playing the deck. Such a cool, cool animation. Let us see if your talents are worth cataloging. Seek and find. Alright, good. Good news. That means they don't have Command the Red Horde. That's good news. They're auto-tapping all of their... So, like, what does that mean that it keeps auto-tapping all of the black sources? They gotta have some kind of, like, blue-green card in hand or something. I do have, I guess, maybe like another Tamiya or something. I question this outcome. Let's see how you respond to. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't sequence that too well.
I don't have any artifacts in here, right? Yeah. Some solutions must be built. This should strike fear into you. So yeah, like the, this other Tezzerat does cost a lot less. So they're at 17. I can make at least one more artifact with the other Tezzerat next turn to make it 6. And then... Claw, Claw. Let us have a storied battle and that's 12. Telling. To the library. Good, yeah, don't get any Command the Dread Hordes. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to attack first. Maybe they don't block, like, one of them. Hmm. Well, that's... I think that's lethal, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's lethal. Because they, they can't block both of them. We're going to do seven. That's lethal. Woo! Oh, that makes it even more lethal. Somebody that tracks. Prepare to marvel at my masterpieces. I learned a few tricks on Kaladesh. That makes it very lethal. Return. Gotta get this claw activation in. Don't you see? You have already lost. More claw. More claw. Bzz. You should just concede. We'll turn a treasure into an 8-8. Because it really is a treasure. And boom. Negative 21. Demir Tezzerator. The claw's too strong. Wow, that was fantastic. GG's. Oh, man, that was a sweet match there. Man, really good match. Um, <laughs> exact lethal. <laughs> uh, GG's. Okay, we saw during that... that uh, I haven't reset today, and we saw during that that game how it was lagging up uh, a good amount. I'm going to go ahead and get a reset in here real quick. <clears throat> Who'd have thought that Tezzeret would have such powerful claws in his contract with Bolas? <laughs> uh, that's pretty good. Claws.
yeah, M20 is going to add some some good cards for this deck. They, you know, there's good artifacts in M20. Definitely. <laughs> Bowler says, "I love this deck. Every time I watch you play, it cracks me up." Yeah, that's a pretty sweet one. I it does better than I expect it to every time too. You know, like just kind of like looking at the deck list, it just looks so like mopey. But then it's just like, oh hey, we have like a bunch of like artifacts, like a bunch of artifact creatures. And, like, the Karns in particular, like, this card's just always awesome. Like, the minus two just, like, you know, makes eight eights and stuff. You don't really expect. Yeah, Steel Overseer. Getting some counters on those. Let's slow this down. Maybe they'll bounce my guild globe. Let me play that again. Don't worry, I got this. Cycle. Oh, steel overseer Karns Bastion. That's a combo. Here goes nothing. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Do I just bounce Ripjaw and play Guild Globe, or do I play the Karn and tick up? And then I have to like worry about trying to protect Karn the next turn. If they have like Nissa, I'm kinda dead. I guess I just bounce in Guild Globe. Or I could just treasure map. Now let's bounce. Really hope no Nissa. That's more like it. Okay, cool. I have constructed your doom. Uh Thorin Gill, I don't have good answers for you. I haven't played Modern in almost a year now. So I don't... Yeah, I don't have any good answers there. No, Prison Realm. Boo. I liked my Tezzeret. Thanks, Obscura. We will meet again. No, I am not making this up as I go. Could have fooled me. Prepare to marvel at my masterpiece. Stop that now. Teferi bouncing my Karn tokens, my Karn Strucks, is certainly annoying. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Here we go. Okay. So I guess they're killing Sahili. Dang. That's unfortunate. We live to fight another day. Ooh, that's fortunate. I didn't even have my upkeep stop in. Still drew perfectly. I must go.
Why do they keep pointing at their Ripjaw Raptor? Okay. Oh, come on. I I clicked that when there was like four things still to go on the stack and like three turns left. I will fight awaken. Um uh, I don't I don't know like with bag of holding I'm not I'm not too sure yet. I haven't really thought about the card very much. Yeah, we'll be doing our our course at 2020 set review. On Friday in, in 2 days. Um but I know I'd have to like really read the card, you know, think about it, all that kind of stuff. I haven't which I have not done yet. These mass manipulation decks are really, really annoying. Man, they're really annoying. I think I'm gonna just kind of sideboard like I did for the Sultai deck, I guess. I do like Sai more here, though. Try this. Yeah, correct. It would be a yes, correct. The token would be a one-one on their battlefield, um, unless they would you know minus the Karn and make another artifact. But yes, it does change. It would not be you know not stay the same power toughness. Yeah, Bag of Holding is a really bad name, though. That was, that was really poorly named. Because that's that's what bags do, is they hold stuff. Just saying the ba Bag of Holding, that doesn't differentiate it from any other bag ever in existence. That is a pretty poor name. I feel like my opponent has counterspell, how they, you know, how it just went from, like, a, a negate, that's what I mean by counterspell, like a negate, Dovin's Veto. There's a... There's a D and D item called Bag of Holding. Yes, they they definitely want to try to negate something. I'm just sitting over here with removal spells though. So I'll just be happy to wait. A bag of holding is a bag that you... Witness the 
carry that has the portal to a pocket plane about the size of a room in it with no oxygen or anything that you can store items in on a different plane and pull them out by thinking about them. Um, no, Chris, I haven't seen that. I was hoping my opponent was going to use the counter spell there. I've been drinking a good amount of water today. Yep, feeling hydrated. We're good. I got your lie out of here. Um, Starman, I'm not sure yet, honestly. Uh, that is that is certainly a concern. Um, yeah, Graft Digger's Cage. Yeah, Draft Graft Digger's Cage is certainly a concern for uh, for Arc Bow decks. And I could certainly see Graft Digger's Cage seeing a good amount of sideboard play. Like, I don't think it'll be just something that, like, a card that people aren't really playing in their sideboard. Because it stops so much stuff in the format. So, yeah, I could see Cage being a, a pretty a pretty highly played a sideboard card. So yeah, that, that is a good worry. I just have nothing. Just had nothing this whole game.
Behold new wonders. So having one Sahili trigger the other so that I can have the two artifacts in play. That I can sacrifice to side to draw a card. Of course, we, we know our opponent has a negate in hand. Looks like they drew something else. As you can tell, they're very carefully tr trying to keep this negate available. Looks like another Krasis. Bleh. No, I mean, they're not tapping any blue. The land shall conquer you. Well, it was a crisis, and they didn't keep negate up. So it ripped our raptor cost and costing too much. Why is my opponent saying good game? Do they just have a way to kill me from here? So that's our 12th land that we've seen so far. All right, two and one. That was a pretty bad match. Just didn't do anything there. And, you know, both games are punt just cast mass manipulation. Take your stuff. Hooray, magic's fun. All right, new match. Hopefully not against mass manipulation. Okay, we can have an earlier Sahili here. Rakdos. Rakdos is cool. All right, gonna get rid of the butchers as early as possible to keep us from taking the least amount of damage possible. the The problem with Thought Erasers and Tyrant Scorns is, of course, they're both blue black. So, like, if we right now at, at four mana with Blast Zone, we're not going to be able to double spell because they both, you know, neither like nothing can take the colorless land. So that's kind of our situation for for right now.
All right, having to go with the thought erasure here because there's just a chance that like the second thought erasure that we have won't be able to do very much if we don't. No, DVG, it does not. Oh, come on. Stop. Stop butchering. Ooh. That's a good one. You have no place in my plans. So yeah, kill the creature in mass two. But that'll help us make more more tokens every single turn. Help us stabilize. No respect for Tezzeret. There's none. It is the ideal subordinate. I battled for the forces of good. Some solutions must be built. No respect for Tez. Which makes sense. They're going to have lethal the next turn. Makes sense, makes sense. Couldn't quite stabilize. All right. Um... That third Dreadhorde Butcher got us. Card's very strong. All right, so Moment of Cravings, Enter the God Eternals. Scriptures is a little slow. Maybe Ritual of Soot instead. And we'll ditch one Master of Bridge, one Sahili, one Guild Globe. The Mox Amber. I guess one Artifice Master. It's got some Thought Erasures, actually. I don't know if I'm really that concerned of anything in their deck that I really need to steal, actually. Let's do that. Let's get one of these back in. Let's get the Guild Glow back in. And the Tezzeret back in. All right, it's all about Enter the God Eternals. Glad we're on the play with this kind of hand. We'll be scrying with Treasure Map, trying to get land drops. Get to this, enter the God Eternals. Let's get this homage to Garrick video up on YouTube. Stop with the Dreadhorde Butchers.
All right, gonna have Karn get us some card advantage. Just sticking up and everything. There's no reason to unban Ferocidon with it, with it uh, about to rotate. It's just not. There's just no upside to pulling it off the ban list and everything. Like the only thing, the only thing that can happen is something bad. There's nothing like good that can happen. Because even if it's you know perfectly reason you know safe and you know doesn't doesn't really affect the metagame or anything like that. Um, you know even in that scenario. It doesn't really, it didn't really, uh, you know, it's basically like zero sum. Like it's not, it's not really helping. I do not feel pain. What was lost is now returned. So Karn's about to, like, well, Karn may die here. Maybe they'll deal the four to us. But in case Karn dies, I'm just, just going to go ahead and get some extra good value out of it, getting the moment of craving in hand instead of, like, taking up and grabbing a random land. Spark Harvest. So basically, unbanning Frost Zone is just a really high risk move without without payoff. It's just not going to happen. Hmm. It's not looking good for us at all. Our creatures that our opponent's playing cost four mana. We have Ritual of Soots in here. You know, like Ritual of Soots and Tyrant Scorns are like our removal, and they're all about three mana or less. I don't think we're winning this. Yeah, like I really don't think we're winning this. And that's the best possible card we could draw. Still puts us very dead. GG's. The Dreadhorde Butchers just messed us up real bad, both of those games. We, even though we, we had two Tyrant Scorns the first game, but there was three Dreadhorde Butchers. And then, you know, we didn't have the Tyrant score in the second game. And that Dreadhorde Butcher just did so much damage to us. But... <laughs> really? I've played a Haunt of the Hightower deck before. It was pretty sweet. It was a... Uh, um, What's it called? A disinformation campaign deck with 
with the uh, Haunt of the High Towers and stuff. Yep, GG's Butcher was just too good there. It was too good. And then and then after the Butcher is that second game, having, you know, all those four drops uh, meant that our Ritual of Soot was just really bad. And Tyrant's Corn, like both of those. And those, those were our removal spells. The discard that our opponent had that second game was really, really clutch too. You know, making us get rid of the, all those cards. Just GG's. All right, so Demir Tezzerator, uh, you know, fun deck for sure. And that second match, I mean, that even though going 2-2, there's nothing wrong with that, especially that second match uh, against Sultai. That was an awesome, awesome match. And real happy to win that one. So even though losing the next two after that, that's okay. That's okay. Pretty sweet match that we had there. Um, but yeah, as we were talking, Core 2020 may have, uh, M20 may have like some uh, good upgrades for the deck you know it just has like more playable artifacts which that's what standard's really been lacking is more playable artifacts so hopefully we get to play some more tezzeret master of the bridge um from the new set also because yeah like that that claw animation really really cool all right so if you're watching this video later on youtube hope you enjoyed it and please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there uh but that's it here for demir tezzerator Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for another video.